this is where we ordered everything from from electricscooterparts.com okay so I gotta take all of these connectors in heel and swap these out with all of these. Okay, so this is uh, yellow and blue. We got a CNX 50 on that one. And it says to motor. This is my motor. Look at that. Don't even have to replace the connector. Alright, what's the next one? Throttle control. What color? Red, black, and green. There's some red, black, and green. Any other red, black, and greens? There's no other red, black, and green. Hey, that these labeled? Oh, they are labeled. Okay, so this is the Ford in reverse. This is the yellow and red cable. Go ahead, push it. Got in continuity mode on the multimeter. So, yep. Uh, just, yeah, there you go. Okay, so down reverse is on, latched, and forward is unlatched. All right, so worst case scenario, we might have to flip this. Trying to feel it if there's screws in here and take it out and flip it. Okay, so it's under the handlebar area. So I got my flashlight on here. There's underneath, there's a screw right there. Kind of like right there. You see the hole on the bottom left. I have the screwdriver and the other one over here. Come up right there. And there are some. There's one on the top. Same thing on the other side. So there, there's so the four screws. So I'm gonna try to take that and see if we can flip this around. I just pulled this out. Yellow was on the top, red was on the bottom. So in theory, we should just be able to rotate red on the top, yellow on the bottom. So it looks symmetric. Oops, sorry, it looks symmetrical. So it looks like it'll go right back in the way it was, and I think our switches will be perfect. I'm gonna go put that. Okay, I'm back in the office, and I got this issue. Not really a big deal, but these just like flap around the breeze. I don't know if that's heat treat tubing or what, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I can do this with one hand. I lost my videographer. He had to go take a bath. About 200 degrees here. Okay, here, turn some lighting on. I got an issue here with this bad boy just sliding on and off. They don't even stay on. Okay, so these are clipped by the way. You got a little piece you push down right there to release it. So let's cut this off. Throw a red guy on here. Whole thing? Should we put the whole thing on there? A little long, huh? Oh, that was the other one. Let's chop this up a little bit. This is kind of cool how it just stays on there. And that's your stir. That's all you're doing. Just pressing it back and forward. Remember right on top when you put it back in. That's the way it's upside down. Right on the top. Oh yeah. Let's shrink this guy a little bit. Ah! 
goes up. 200 degrees Celsius. This is probably a little excessive. I don't think it's really needed. But hey, a little struggle to get this out. Might as well take the full length, huh? All right. All right, let's go throw it back in again. That way to the top. So maybe just kind of give you know, and that should be backwards. Okay. That red is on the top, yellow is on the bottom. That was a battle. <laughs> Getting in there in a tight spot. Kind of need three hands or a helper. Like I said, my helper went to go take a bath. So those are now forward and reverse, I hope is perfect now. All right, bro, let's see if we can get this going. So the brake lever has a wire going through. So when you pull the brakes, apparently the brake lights will come on. But anyway, that's there. And then we have the throttle controller, which I don't know if you can see over here. Come on, over here, buddy. Let's see if you can show them that hole right here. Can you see that hole? You don't have to get that closing back a little bit. But there's a hole right here with the wires. Both of those wires come through the pipe. Handlebar come down, they come out through here. We got them all labeled, okay? So I'm trying to go through this quickly. Throttle is the female, uh, male. Got a little clippy. Clippy, 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 clippy. Right there, so a little clippy. Right there, so that's red, blue, and black throttle. Got it? Not to be confused with brake. Okay, brake does not have a clippy clippy. All right, that's female. In fact, they will go together and meet together there. But let's not do that. Throttle on brake would be weird. That's gonna be a brake. Okay, all the other ones coming from the front are front light, yellow and black. Can't get confused with that. And you got forward and reverse with yellow and red with a clippy clippy. Snippy snippy. Quick release, okay? And then for the back, we have, that's my motor controller, power button, no clippy clippy, red and black. Can't be confused with anything else. Then we got high and low. Uh, this is the high and low. This is the high and low switch in the back. Yeah. Which is basically an on-off switch. And then this is the brake light, which has got a clippy clippy on it. Okay, that is red, white, and black. All right, and then we've got the power, obviously, that goes in. That, that connector is already perfectly mated to this controller. This controller is the SPD 36500R. Installation of wiring 36 volt 500 watt, but I'm sure you can get any reversible. It'd be done with it. I just got this because it's got some little bit of an English to it, a little manual. So I paid a little bit more money for it versus overseas. We also made a custom one of these. This is a uh, I forgot power disconnect, no power Power discharge, no discharge. Yeah, what power discharge. I think, no, no, the battery connector, battery discharge connector. Battery I think it's, connector. when you search for these, battery discharge connector. But I had to, these were way too fat and wouldn't fit. You just hold my head on my back with the, by the way, it's like 20 degrees today, Fahrenheit, uh, with a zero degree. And there's my baby, if we say wrong. Okay. I don't really want to plug, well, dang it, here, let's unplug it. I don't want to plug this in yet. All right. So this guy goes right in just like that. Okay. I had to cut this in half and then um, made it together and I used two part epoxy to do that and I know it's kind of nasty but it got really and these were way too fat and I had to slim these down I had to shave them uh, on a grinder wheel and get them to where you know it finally slid, slid in really really well all right here's the throttle I just cut the throttle off the connector by the way this is one of my favorite tools my little wire stripper it works so well and it was so inexpensive
and you like pull it back and it locks it. All right, so this is stranded. Let's see if I can pretend these. Put the radio on, I hope we don't get a copyright strike. Copyright strike! I want to get a copyright strike! All right. TS-100, baby! Or is it a 1,000? I forgot. What is this? TS-100. Yeah, I love the TS-100, man. Let's pretend these guys. And... It's not pretending. Let's try to bring the... Uh, solder to the wire. We have to fast forward this video again. You think it'll be too boring for people? No idea. Uh, consider it's really not another video out there doing this right now. Try not to breathe. You're not breathing any of that dangerous, toxic fumes, are you? Nope. Glad you're back. My boy had to go take a bath. So, ended up having to do this on my own. Alright. I forgot what connector this was. Do you remember see it? It was the CNX 52s, I think. I uh, like to look at the paper. You want your $750? Get your $750, go to this website. Get free money. Gavin, what are we going to do without our free money? <laughs> Don't go. So I'm assuming well, we gonna... everybody else out there has done this $1,900. Um recall because some bonehead out there I don't know I'd actually like to know what bonehead that was I don't know maybe he's a 36 year old was he 36 yeah it was a 36 year old he fell off it and then bruised his forehead or something I don't know. then that. his family got mad at Elon Musk and sued him and then he made a recall <laughs> well they sued the company probably yeah, they sued the company <sighs> Personally, I probably don't think Elon Musk has much to do with this thing at all. I'd be shocked if he did. What is that? A flux pen? Yes, yeah, flux. Knew it. I think there might be flux here. I don't see, I don't see him coming out. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. I think it just took a while. There it goes. <laughs> Working in the garage, this is how it goes. I do not want that falling off on me in the mid. Can't like pull wheelies or anything. But I don't want it coming off. I don't want to be taking this thing apart. Alright, get it. <laughs> we are so getting a copyright strike, I can tell you right now, with that music playing in the background. Not like I'm. And by the way, I am not a YouTuber. I am not a. Influencer. I'm probably making a million mistakes here. And I'm probably going to get criticized like crazy. And, uh, so I don't make money off of YouTube. So I don't really care about the monetization piece and being copyright striked. I just. This is how we do it. It's too cold to be riding right now. Yeah. Heck, I don't even know why I'm doing this right now, to be honest with you. I feel like y'all gonna be riding out there in like the teens. Yeah, like sitting in the garage for nothing. Oh god. Oh no. It's coming off. And it's burning my finger. This is how we do it. Daddy. This is Daddy. how we burn our fingers. Daddy. Yeah. Scream again for a second to return to the heart. Oh jeez, it's hot. It's hot, bro. <laughs> It's hot. There is no way people are sitting here watching me. 
solder a freaking connector onto a Tesla <laughs> Cyber Quad. In the middle oh, that's of our the family garage. guy. I showed my son that clip. That was too funny. It's uh, he gets uh, what do you call it? Yeah, uh, that like the, the last scroll or something no, in no, a no, beer no. bottle. No, no, he gets the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah, but he got um, it in a beer bottle or something. Did he? Yeah, he got it in the beer bottle and then he barfs it up and then he holds it up and he's like, I got the last scroll. I don't remember that. <laughs> and then part. he's like, run home, run home all the way home and don't stop. Run home. And he runs trips home. on crack. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. I got a question. Hey, Dad, ask me. Well, she's the youngest, but y'all never put this thing to slow speed. Y'all always kept it on the regular, right? Yeah. So we don't need it. We don't really need the high, me high, medium, low. Okay. The stock brake lever is broke out into three connectors, which means, I don't know, maybe it provides power with the black and red and then this blue sends back a signal i don't really know i'm not sure how that works but thank goodness i ordered one of these and i'm getting ready to show you the part number ordered and i'm hoping that'll fit and it'll swap out it's a left-handed i think <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure it is and then this one is definitely working if i pull the switch it's a two switch a two prong and heck that actually nah i'm gonna have to swap out the connector on this one Maybe you can order one of these with a CNX50, CNX51 on it. All right, I'm gonna swap it out and I'll be back. I lost my my buddy again. We're gonna watch a movie, so I'm having to release this brake lever back here. Give me some slack up here, so I can remove this guy. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I can't do this one hand, so I'm gonna let go, pull this out. Next video should show the new new brake lever on. Okay, this is the original switch. I don't know what that is. Is this some kind of Hall effect sensor? A magnetic sensor? What is that? People in YouTube comments, maybe you can comment what that is. But yeah, that's that's going in here. So that must be detecting some kind of metal magnet. I don't know. That piece right there. Yeah. Whatever that little silver thing in there is. It must be a magnet or something. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is magnet, magnet. So I can loosely. Boom. It is highly magnet. All right, so... That's some kind of magnetometer sensory thing <laughs> uh, right there. So that's what that's doing. But you know what? I got a new one without that. So we're gonna try the momentary update. This is the stoplight. I'm gonna use red and black. Green is the uh, ground. Red is gonna be the positive. Anyway, so we've got the bright light connector, 24 volts, green red positive obviously so the white appears to do nothing so we got this cyber quad on here's my brake light I'm gonna try if I can do this in a one picture I don't think I can I'll pull the brakes the light comes on yay and in theory it should stop the uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand but it's going for if I push the thing off if I pull the brake and pull the throttle, nothing happens. So in theory, whenever you pull the brake, the throttle should immediately stop. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think I got it all. I just got to put that one last, you know, solder these last connectors on and put the, you know, the mating CX51 on there and CNX51, and it'll be good. Oh Lord, it's now. Hey, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. It's 8.25 in the evening. I started this around 3 o'clock. Maybe 3 o'clock p.m. It's about five hours. Whew. Anyway. All right, so we have no lights on the front. No lights on the back. Flip this guy, and I put an on-off switch. Focus, maybe. On, off. On. Okay. No lights on the front. No lights in the back. Pull the brake. Boop. Boop. 
So as I pull this guy, a little wire coming down in here. And that's our brake guy. That's throttle. Throttle goes to this guy. Anyway, this is what takes so long, is getting all these connectors and soldered them all. And you know, I just wanted more of a permanent solution. Uh, let me turn this thing off. And then uh, just getting them all connected uh, onto this controller. And, but everything works just perfectly now. Now it's just about perfectly forming it. Okay, this is the only thing I don't know. This goes down into the motor controller, or down to the motor. Please, if you guys know what this is, let me know. I get a sneaky suspicion this is something to do with thermal. Or, you know, hey, if something's wrong with the motor, chomp it down. This is my connector here going into the battery. We're gonna have to leave the battery in and just charge it as it is. We can't remove the battery. I got another part coming, so I'll be able to test that later. All right, so it's time to just clean all these cables. I'll probably get some Velcro. Velcro some of this up and braid it in a little better. Fit it down in there. I'm thinking about, it's got these right here, and I gotta flip this thing upside down, but I think I can just screw that right down to the bottom. And yeah, I didn't use the power button either, so that was another cable we didn't use. I just used the, and I didn't use the uh, speed right here. This is speed guy. So if you wanna go fast or slow. So I use that fast or slow switch for the power on and off. I thought that was just much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, let's give it a go. I'll have to put all these connectors on here. Yay. Okay. And I'm gonna plug this thing. Pause was on the right. Yes. I wanna go first to say, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 10, minutes, 10 um, minutes later. I've never done this before. This is not my profession. 10 minutes. Try this with your own risk at home. Okay, 10 let's, minutes I'll tell you later. What. Where's the fire extinguisher on the wall, right? There yeah. it is, right there, okay? You want me to grab that? <laughs> no, nah, it would be all right. I, I have a little bit more confidence in myself, but, um, well, hold my beer. <laughs> Here we go, pause it on the right. Is the battery in there? Okay, I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth, bro! Let me lift it up. Ready? Forward! Yeah, she wants to go forward! Reverse! Woo! All right, so I'm thinking like that up front and just go straight down and I don't think I need any bolts in the back. It just needs to kind of hold in there. I think this thing's not going anywhere anyway. It's not a crazy vehicle. All right, there's only a little bit of room. I can't manage it like right here and right here where I can put those bolts through to bolt that uh, controller down. Let's do that. Right. How about those apples? Two screws coming through. I just did some drywall screws. Just plastic. I think those go work. Alright, put a cable tie wrap here and down there. Kind of keep that cable droop. Keep these cables in here. Might even put another one in there. Maybe dress these up a little bit better. But yeah. Looks really clean. Can't wait to put the seat back on. Okay, I got some of a problem since I can't remove the battery. Since I got my ghetto power connector. Um, I'm gonna have to, to for now, because the screws come in right here. Bam, bam, those two holes. You gotta take the battery out to be able to put this in. Well, I can't get to my battery connector if I do that, so that's gonna have to stay loose for now, the seat until I get my new connector in and give that a go. But other than that, we should be good to go. Let's turn her on. Boom. Should have a front bright light on. We do. Our brake light should work. Brake, brake, brake. And I'm gonna hop on her. Oh wait. I didn't adjust the seat properly. It goes in, it's going your home. There we go. I'm sitting down on it. This is where the lawsuit comes, right? Forward, reverse, forward. Should go forward. I'm going forward. Backwards. I'm going backwards. Okay. Pushing the brake. Holding the brake down. Hold on, let me the brake. Holding the brake down. And throttle is not working. Let go of the brake. Throttle works. Going forward, brake. Throttle is not working. Let go of the brake. Throttle works. Oh, that is so sweet. 
Uh, I need to probably bring this brake down a little bit. Get the kids out here and get them to try it, see how they like it. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, well, that was a good five, six hours worth of work. Like I said, the biggest part was working on the connectors. Um, that was the most time consuming. The rest of it was really just kind of figuring out what to do, where the screws, what unhooks, what doesn't unhook, you know, what comes apart and how to kind of handle it all. But actually, it wasn't that bad. I think you can just get that controller, hook it up. You might be able to just get ones off of AliExpress or eBay for half the price. But I ended up just doing the uh, ones from that scooter place. We'll get your part list. This is where you're going to order it from. This, let me tell you what you need. So the CNX 51s, you're going to need all of those. You really only need the flat ones. I don't really should have put the ones on the left of the CNX 51s. You don't need the, so that would be the male. You do not need the female. Uh, but... I just got that kit. I mean, look how cheap it was. A dollar forty. I mean, you might as well just buy the whole thing. Or actually, eight dollars and forty cents. Might as well buy the whole thing. I got corny six of those. Uh, how many of those did I have left? All right. So the CNX fifty twos. I had. One, I used one of those. So you really only need one CNX-52, it looks like. How many of those I get? CNX-52, I got two of those. You only need one CNX-52. And one I did not use of the CNX-51s. How many? So you only need five CNX-51s. Okay, and let's go down the list. The CNX-50s, I think you only need one of those. That's the big fatties, right? Yeah, CNX 50s. I only used... How many to order? Order two of those. Yeah, you only need one of those. So quantity one, quantity five, 52s. What did we decide on that? Quantity one? I think quantity one of the 52s. All right. The brake lever, that was a lifesaver. I'm so glad I ordered that. That was $11.95, worth it. I mean, if you want your lights to come on, the brake light. Speed controller, absolute must. Uh, the throttle thing I did not use. Uh... Guys, look like going the same speed. It is so cold. I am so not getting the Saran out to do a speed test. I guess I can give her the. I have the app on my phone that tracks the. What? You cold? I know. Hey, does it feel the same speed? Here we go. Let me Whoa, hop on. The is yeah, did I put a new brake on? on. Is Let it better or on. worse? Let me hop on. Move, move, move. Quick. Hey, is it, it, what's the, what does the, uh, the speed feel like? Uh, it feels faster. It feels faster? Yeah. Same? same? Yeah, it looks the same to me. That's so cool when he pulls the brake light. All right, man. Same speed? All right, bring it in, it's cold, come on. Okay, this is right after we just did the controller upgrade and we're gonna do a GPS tracker to see how fast she goes. So, Em, I need you to go all the way down the street and come back. Okay. Full throttle! Let me see. What's the top speed? Okay, top speed is maximum oh, that. 10. The maximum speed was 10 miles an hour. That's dead on exactly what it's supposed to be. All right, now Gavin, your turn. You want me to hop on? Yeah, I want to see if it makes okay. a difference. Got it. Tap me to reset. Reset. Maybe a double tap? There, yes. There you go. This radio sounds like a machine. Hey, how much do you weigh? Do you know? I weigh 60 pounds exactly. 
All right, any guesses out there how fast he was going? I say nine miles an hour. Eight, eight to nine. Top speed, 11. You went 11 miles an hour. How did you go faster than her? I don't know. I just held on the throttle. Maybe she didn't hold on the throttle all the way. What the heck? Here, get a hop off her set. Let me try. The speed, I'm already at top speed already. I'm going 10 miles an hour. What the heck? How is that possible? I would have thought the weight would have made a difference. Me too. Me too. I forgot to film my crazy stunts. I went 10 Muppahas as well. Not miles per hour, but Muppahas. We went 10 <laughs> Muppahas, 0.66 miles. All right. I think we got a winner, bro. Mm -hmm. I just have to do this every time, though. I got to take this off. I don't have this bolted down yet. And I just got to take that manually on and off each time. I got to charge the battery until I figure out a solution. I got another connector coming. Worst case scenario, uh, if the other connector didn't work, if the other connector's really thin, if this connector doesn't work, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm just gonna, I don't know, glue make that one. in or 3D print something in there to make it more permanent. Alrighty, then. But that just slides on and off really well, so it's really no big deal. Keep it that way. All right, adios.